I was worried that everyone was gonna look down on me and be like, oh, it's a freshman. I was actually uh, really nervous, not only about friends, but how I would do. Not knowing where my class is, is a big concern. Oh, and finding a good group to stay within. I think I'm more nervous about meeting my teachers than I am making new friends. Be yourself, because if you're not yourself, you're gonna make friends that you don't want and you're gonna have to act differently around them. Be outgoing, join clubs, do sports, and you'll make a lot of new friends that way. Don't make everything a clique, because that's what I did. I made everybody into a clique and I was like, oh, I can't talk to them because they're not a part of my circle. But I would definitely suggest like break down those circles that you have in your mind already and then just be you. Make friends with your teachers because teachers are really awesome people who are who have dedicated their lives to helping students. Just remember that when we show respect, we're going to get respect. If you open up to people, people will open up to you as well. So it's cool to ask someone, hey, where is this? Or ask a teacher, I'm kind of confused on this. Can you help me out? Like no one's gonna judge you or think any less of you. If you get in a situation where you can't find your locker or you don't know what room to go to or you've lost your schedule, it's okay to ask. It's okay to uh, talk to a counselor or a teacher or a principal. That's what we're there for. We wanna help. Go to tutorials. <laughs> Go to tutorials. Everybody goes to tutoring. The smartest kid in class goes to tutoring. So you shouldn't feel intimidated by your teacher or your friends if you want to go to tutoring because you're doing what's best for you. You shouldn't have to worry about what anybody else is saying to you. One thing that they told me during middle school was, you know, once you get to high school, your grades are going to count for college. And I didn't really listen to them until after freshman year and then started looking at colleges and was like, oh no, my freshman grades are not gonna help me so much. I can't tell you the number of times that kids have come and said, Miss Shelton, I wish I had studied harder my freshman year. Grades do matter. If you make good grades, what you're doing is you're opening doors for yourself in the future that you may not even be aware of right now. If you want to get into a good college, do AP classes. It will help with your GPA and colleges, but you're going to have to study really hard. So if you're ready for that pressure and that academic level, then go ahead and do it. It is a lot of work, though. Don't, don't think it's not going to be hard. It's definitely going to be hard. What type of student are you? If you're the student who likes to be challenged, likes to study difficult material, then absolutely take pre-AP and AP classes. Uh, if you're thinking that you want to go to a tier one school, college, well then most definitely you do need to take as many rigorous classes as you can take. On the other hand, if you are a little bit apprehensive, then try taking a couple of pre-AP or AP classes and work up to it. The main thing is you have to study, you have to be willing to struggle, and you have to learn that struggling is okay and it's a part of the process. High school is so fun. You no longer have teachers breathing down your neck. You're pretty much free to roam around and do what you want with some guidelines. You're kind of at a time where you have some responsibilities but not a crazy amount, and so you're able to enjoy going out with your friends whenever you want to, or going to prom, things like that. So there are a lot of things to look forward to that you don't have the responsibilities of the rest of the world. It's your freshman year. This is all about you. So embrace the adventure, find the electives that you're interested in, enjoy going for the freedom of going from one class to the next. Take the opportunity that's in front of you and enjoy this adventure. It's yours. The kids who work super hard their freshman year have the highest GPAs. Set little reminders for yourself to study a little bit each night. Study ahead, uh, get in that practice, and it's really good to start to find how you learn, how you study. Do not procrastinate because you will really regret it. <laughs> Please, wear deodorant. Please.